Welcome back into my shop. Tonight I'm going to be using my veneer press, which just arrived from JoeWoodworker.com. If you're at all interested in veneering, I highly recommend this site. My order arrived quickly, it was easy to put together, and I'm very excited about starting to use it in my shop. I also want to take a moment to thank Neil Lehmans at Furnitology Productions. I've been watching his series on the ash uh, lingerie chest that he's putting together, and the two episodes, episode six, part one and two, on veneering uh, were fascinating to me. I like to make quilt chests out of cherry and I have been using cherry plywood for the panel of the uh, frame and panel construction and I think with veneering I'm going to be able to make my own panels and hopefully introduce some interesting species into the panel field of the uh, frame and panel construction. If you visit JoeWoodworker.com, you'll find a number of options for vacuum pumps to assemble your vacuum press. I chose a continuous run AC unit. This is the vacuum pump. Attached to it is a cross with a glycerin filled vacuum gauge and a uh, valve that's used for vacuum clamping. You can adjust the vacuum with this set screw. At the input end is a vacuum filter and then the vacuum hose with a quick connect valve to connect to the vacuum bag. There's also a foot switch which turns the pump on and off. The pump actually runs pretty quietly. One of the first entries on my veneering blog was a description on how to make a storage tube for your vacuum bag. I ended up getting a polyurethane bag because I thought in the long run this would give me the most utility and the most durability and I really wanted to make sure that I protected it so I got the most life out of it. This is the closure system for the vacuum bag. It's basically a piece of PVC pipe with a uh, clamp that goes around and holds the bag shut. I figured that when I do veneering, I'm going to put a blanket down on my bench to protect the bag so it doesn't get abraded. This is the valve that the vacuum tube connects to and you basically just clamp it on and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. 